Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I have an Alex who comes running every time I start talking. Come here, buddy. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Yeah. Oh, get up here, chub. Oh, he's heavy. My baby, Alex. Okay, go play. Um, and in my Don't Stress Me Out mug, I have peppermint mocha. I'm trying to finish that off. Mmm. It is freezing here today. It's been in the 50s and 60s up until now, and today it's 17. I've got the last of the fire burning over here. I thought I'll get this Dollar Tree haul out for you. So let, let us get started. But first, oops, I got some friend mail, and I wanted to show you. Um, look at this. Let me make sure. Yes, that beautiful card. Isn't that fun? It just says spring is coming and it is. And this is from Glenda. And Glenda, thank you so much. Guys, wait to see what it is. And then we're gonna have to build this. It's a llama pinata. What? I love llamas. And how fun is that? Maybe we'll make a video and we'll build it together. That is so awesome. So I got that in the mail. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love getting mail, but I do not expect mail from you guys. Um, but I appreciate when you think of me. So thank you. All right, let's get started on some Dollar Trees. Um, I picked up a pack of these pots. These will fit perfectly in the three section stackable holder thingy that I hauled. It holds three and then the other one goes sideways. This fits perfect. So I'll put the soil and the flowers in here and then sit them in that three container. So I grabbed a six pack of these. I think this is like a rose, rose gold and they had a different color too. But I grabbed that and this will be perfect for planting this spring. Look at this fun makeup bag. I got it for my coworker. She loves, oh, my nail just peeled animal print. It's a cosmetic bag. She can use it for whatever she wants, but it is um, vinyl on the inside, so it's washable. And then look at the front, like ombre effect. How sweet is that? I know she'll love it. Every time I see something like this, I have to grab it for her. She can put in her desk drawer, pens, pencils, makeup. We tend to keep like moisturizer and stuff in our drawers at work, so maybe that would help. What is going on with my eyebrows today? They're very dark. I don't know what's happening up there. So I grabbed that for a friend. Um, I found some supplies to do a St. Patrick's Day gnome. I thought this table scatter would be really fun. It's shamrocks and gold coins. So I thought that would be fun. And then I picked up also some just coins. I thought I could scatter them around my shamrock or around my St. Patrick's Day gnome. Now I ordered online, I think from Amazon, some rainbow leg warmers to make a rainbow hat for one of them. Um, but I don't know when it's coming, so I'll wait. But I did pick up this kid size t-shirt. Is that not the perfect St. Patrick's Day green? I could totally make a gnome hat or body out of this or both. It's just a child a uh, youth large size seven t-shirt, but it's nice heavy quality and it will make a great gnome hat. So I picked up that in case my other materials don't arrive in time. And then for the body, I just grabbed some of these um, St. Patrick's Day socks. What you use is the foot. Um, obviously I'm not combining these two, but if I get the rainbow or decide something different, anywho. And you can also use this for a hat. Um, I'm just weird about the knee socks for bodies that have a print. I don't want them upside down because that's me. Anywho, I thought this would be fun. If not, we'll wear them. And then for spring, guys, I'm going to need you to, you need to be sitting down. You need to be sitting down for this. Look at the hat I got for a spring gnome. Look at these socks. Are those not perfect? I think for an Easter bunny gnome, I think that is gonna be great. 
So I grabbed a pair of these socks. Two pair will make, really, I could probably get like four gnomes out of this, but I will do two because I wanna have the hats like standing up and I'm gonna put bunny ears on this one. So I thought that was perfect. So I grabbed that and then I found the home, the home sign. And I actually like these colors for summer, so I may just leave this or I might paint it. Hard to say. Um, sometimes I just put things in my crafty bin until the mood strikes me to make something with it. But I really liked this and I do enjoy these colors for spring. I think that is pretty. Um, I did pick up one more bear because I love the bear and it could be a brown bear or a black bear or polar bear. I don't know what kind of bear it is, but it's going to be something. And I wondered when I saw it, I wanted to grab a secondary one. So I grabbed the second of that just for my crafting supplies. Um, I picked up two of these love signs to create something. You glue them together like that and then you can make a sign you can do three together two together i just picked up these two i will take off the tin heart um i'm hoping it's wide enough to create um a sign that i saw something similar at michael's but i will let you know when i make it um if not i can just sit it on my mantle because that's pretty so i enjoyed that Ow. Oh, for spring, guys. Sorry, everything is so far away. Um, please tell me these are not completely adorable. I have no idea what I'm doing with them, but I needed to have them in my life um, because they're cute. You could totally hook these onto a gift bag or on your garland if you're made the seasonal garland like I did. Perfect. And these were in with the Easter stuff along with the little... Um, carrots so I loved that that can go with the seasonal stuff I found for my brother's dog the sugar daddy I still have not found the cat size or the little dog size but she'll have fun tearing this up I'm sure and again it was a dollar I don't care if it lasts her a day she'll have fun tearing it up so he has three of these I need to get over to him for his girl um, I found, I grabbed the gold wire. I'm thinking about making some glasses for my gnomes and with the gold, like wireframe glasses, but we'll see. If not, I will be putting these in the hats when I create my next seasonal gnome because I'm a little gnome obsessed, guys. I can't help it. So I grab some more of that wire. When I see it, it doesn't matter what color it is to, to create. Um, ooh, ugh, oh. okay, I think I have everything within reach and distance now. I uh, know I don't need any more notebooks, but guys, I'm trying to be selective, but please, it says live life in full bloom, and it's gold foil, and the stripes, and the flowers, and it's just, I don't know, probably 80 sheets, doesn't say, of just lined paper. I use these when I do my couponing at the Dollar Tree. No, I don't coupon at the Dollar Tree. I my coupon at CVS. Um, and I like these spiral bound notebooks for that. I won't put it away. Um, so some of the regular ones that I have are the notepads I'm gonna pass on. But I like the spiral notebooks, so I have to keep that. And then I picked up a two pack. If you haven't seen these, they write very well. This is the Ink INC brand and it's R2 Precision. It is a Greenbrier, but I've seen this brand at Dollar General. So I can't figure out if it's Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General. Are they all oh, my the same person? Help me. I don't know. But I saw this at Dollar General. Um, but these write really nice, especially if you journal or have a planner. That's what I use these for. And Christmas cards. Um, so I grabbed another pack. I don't see these often. And I liked the gold. The yellow pen it does write in black if anybody was wondering and these are a two pack and they are um, black ink 0.5 millimeters so they're pretty fine tipped so i grabbed another pack of those did i mention i have to purge all my office supplies yeah well that's coming up um i grabbed one of these for my taxes 
So it has a pocket in the front and then a zip pouch um, that opens up. So when I go to my tax person, I will bring, like here I have my house mortgage 1099, my mortgage payment, my P.O. box, all the things for my YouTube channel will go in here as well as my personal income tax. And then we'll do my taxes and then I will store them for the year in here in a file box and I'll just write on the outside with a sharpie, you know, what year it is for. And I thought this was more organized than just paper clips and staples, especially where I have to do a little different taxes this year. So yeah, and this, it holds a fair amount of paper if you have a lot of documents to store. Um, the quality is fine, but I don't know I would use this if it was something I was getting in and out of often. Um, but I'm not, you know, it'll be a couple times and then it just gets stored away with the rest of my important documents. So I thought these are great and I may grab a secondary one if I see it for to start storing things for next year. For this 2020's tax year. Um, let's see. Oh, I grabbed one more of these for my niece. Sarah wanted one and I saw it because we are on the hunt for the macrame um, pot holders. I want that mustardy color that matches those pillows. I um, but I haven't seen them at my store, but I was talking to a lady at my Dollar Tree and she said that she hasn't seen them come through either. So, all that to say, I bought my niece. <laughs> and this says, uh, plant a garden and watch it grow. And it's really nice. It's pretty heavy and it will sit in front of my plants in the spring. So I'm excited for that. Uh, just a few more things. Um, I am in charge or co in charge of the birthdays this year at my work um, every month we have a birthday we celebrate and I get a lot of um, requests for specific baked goods but anyway so I grabbed some cupcake liners I've used these and they work really well and this coloring stays sometimes it gets you don't see it but this one was nice so I grabbed a pack of that when I see this brand I will grab them um, Cake Mate is the brand. So it's not a Dollar Tree brand. It's definitely something you see in stores. And it comes with 50 and they're usually decorated something fun. Um, I bought the Dollar Tree brand of the white ones and they were weird. They were almost like a waxed paper opposed to like a parchment paper, if that makes sense. I mean, they worked okay, but they were bizarre. So I won't buy them again. And then I grabbed, we typically will give a gift card so we take a collection every month and then that person where this year we're doing gift cards and I thought this was super fun to put the gift card in and fold it up and you get 18 of these and um, it's just paper it's like a parchment bag and you can put cookies in here and um, they're the flatter bags so you want like flat items but you could definitely put a big old cookie in here or treats and then just seal it up and they're great, but I thought these would be perfect for like gift cards. And there's 18. And it says, fun, celebrate, happy birthday. And it's in the birthday party section. So I grab that. And we have two, well, there's really four, but it's only two things. I got a thermo thermometer. It's an outdoor one. It's in Celsius and Fahrenheit. We're going to see how accurate it is. It, I mean, it's says on here it's about 70 and my thermostat says it's 68. So I think that's a pretty fair representation as this was sitting on the floor in front of my fireplace and there's a small fire brewing in there. Um, but I actually got to take to work. We're always either freezing or hot. And so I'm about ready to start documenting temperatures because I'm hot or cold. It's never, it's like a bipolar building. It's up and down. So I grab one of these. We'll see. If it works, I should get a secondary one and put it outside. Although Alexa tells me what the temperature is. She just lit up because I said her name. So there's that. I thought it was fun. And then the last thing I got, which I'm super excited for, um, for a summer decor, are these little houses. And they're votive holders, but I won't put votives in them. And this one has like a gray taupey color lid and it just says, welcome. And it is like a glazed ceramic. And back here, you could put a votive and burn it. It will come out. Um, or you could use battery operated ones or what I'm gonna do and that's just nothing. So I got the one that says welcome. And then I got one that says home sweet home. And it's almost like a row house or 
an apartment or a townhouse, but I didn't notice this till I pulled it out of the packaging. It looks like it was cracked in the manufacturer. You can't see it, and it's like under the glazing over here. So when I go to the Dollar Tree again, I'm hoping they will have a replacement, and I'll toss this one. I mean, it doesn't. I can't tell, but it's definitely cracked, and I don't want it, like, breaking on me. I don't think you'll be able to see it. Oh, maybe right there. It's, like, crushed in. Very bizarre. But there's that house. And then on the opposite, well, actually, I think they're the same house. Just a different pitch. And this one says, Love Lives Here. Are these not so sweet? And the little cutout details. I think these are great for $1. Um, definitely will be fun to, like, just do a little vignette or a little display somewhere for spring and summer. Um, but I definitely want to replace that. And that was everything I picked up this week at the Dollar Tree. Uh, maybe I'll try hitting up Family Dollar or Deals. No more Deals. What is it? Dollar General and do another haul like that. I think that went really well. And it was nice to see different stores. All right, guys. Well, that is everything. And I hope you have a good one. And I will talk to you later. Bye.